Stop, Chowder! Stop! Enough! No more! Stop! Well, here we go! Number 10! Lorelei! Lorelei is located on Isla Mirada in the Middle Keys. It's right on the water, surrounded by coconut palms. And it has one of the best sunsets. I checked out the menu. Richard had the conch chowder. Every place in the Keys has their own version. Lorelei's is tomato base with chunks of tomatoes, diced veggies, and minced conch. A cold beer goes perfect with it. I added a little Tabasco, crackers, and a squeeze of lime. It was good. We drove a little farther south to Marathon. Number 9. Keys Fishery. Keys Fishery is located on the Gulf in Marathon. They have a restaurant and a fish market. We decided to grab a little bite to eat. The line was long. But it's worth it. The menu is on the wall. You go up to the window to order. The view from our table, it's not bad. We had the conch chowder. It had a thin tomato base with chunks of potatoes, carrots, and large chunks of conch. And it was sprinkled with fresh parsley. It was really good. Next we ended up in Key West. Number 8. Manja Manjas. Manja Manja is located in a residential neighborhood in Key West. It's in an old house. They converted the house into a restaurant. You could tell it's a local restaurant because of the vehicles parked in front. You can sit in the backyard. We had a bowl of their conch minestrone chowder. It's classic. Clam broth, tomatoes, kidney beans, fresh pasta, veggies, and a lot of conch. A little Italian twist on conch chowder. It was fantastic. Wow. We ate it all. Well, we're on our way. Next. Number 7. No Name Pub. Located on No Name Key. One of the oldest bars in the Keys. It used to be a brothel. A few picnic tables outside. When you enter, a long wooden bar with dollar bills stapled all over. You can't see the ceiling or the walls. Next, a bowl of conch chowder. It had a thin tomato base with veggies and conch. It was ground very small. The texture was different than most conch chowders, but the flavor was good. A little hot sauce? It was very good. The atmosphere and food were great. Just a little further south, our next stop. Number 6. Little Palm Island. Little Palm Resort and Restaurant is located on Little Palm Key. Yes, it's on its own island. When you enter, you go to the desk to check in. Or you can wait outside on the dock. Our boat came. It was about a 15 minute trip. We docked on the private beach and were escorted to the restaurant. The view from our table was unbelievable. The whole island is private. I had the Bohemian Coconut Conch Chowder. It had grilled scallion creme fraiche and cornbread croutons. A little saffron gives it its orange color. It's a blend of Bohemian and South Florida cuisine. Richard and I had a day in paradise. And a great bowl of conch chowder. All done. Time to head back. Well, let's head a little south to Key West. Number five, Half Shell Raw Bar. Half Shell Raw Bar is located in the harbor in Key West. It's been here for a long time. Lots of locals inside. We grabbed a table. A great view. Richard had conch chowder. The conch chowder was a tomato base with diced potatoes, carrots, celery, and ground conch, and a little bit of spice. It was very good. But how can you go to the Half Shell Raw Bar and not have raw oysters? A quick trip to Miami for the next one, number four. Billy Stone Crab. Billy Stone Crab is on the intercoastal in Fort Lauderdale. The view from our table was pretty good. A waiter brought us a couple bowls of conch chowder. Billy's conch chowder had big chunks of tomato, carrots, celery, and conch in a light tomato broth. It's more like a vegetable soup. I added Tabasco and lime to mine. It was good. A little bread to dip in the chowder. When you're at Billy's, you have to try the stone crab. It's very good. Well, 
back to Key West. Number three, Margaritaville. Margaritaville is located on Duval Street in Key West. As you enter, there is an eclectic collection of items on the wall. Love the laid back style. The place is huge. We grabbed a table. Who's that behind me? Our table was right on the street. Great for people watching. Started with the margarita. What else? We started with conch chowder. The conch chowder at Margaritaville has a thick tomato base with diced potatoes and finely chopped veggies. The spices were perfect. A little lime and Tabasco in it was very good. Conch fritters. What's conch chowder without conch fritters? Filled with conch and veggies. They were good. On our way out of Key West was our next stop. Number two, the Square Grouper. Square Grouper is located on Highway 1 in Sugarloaf Key. When we pulled in, there was lots of cars in the parking lot. Specials were on the blackboard outside. When you walk in, the first thing you see is their large bar. With a big grouper hanging on the wall. They set us in the dining room. It had a big fish tank. Started with conch chowder. Square Grouper's conch chowder was a pureed tomato base with veggies and finely ground conch. I added a little lime and Tabasco. It was very good. And Nancy liked it too. Wow, we had to drive all the way to Miami for our number one. Captain's Tavern in Miami. It's been around for the past 40 years. As you enter, a portrait of the captain at the helm greets you. The decor has not changed in decades. Yeah, dark and lots of wood. Hatch covers and fish tanks all over the restaurant. The conch chowder is one of the best we have ever had. It has a tomato paste with finely diced potatoes, carrots, celery, onions, and ground conch. The texture and flavor is fantastic. Add a few oyster crackers and it's all good. If you want to see more of the top 10s, go to www.fatchef.top10.com. If you enjoyed our top 10 conch chowder, make sure you click like it. And don't forget to subscribe.